What is going on? My name is Apu and welcome to another video. In this lecture, first I'm going to teach you how to use different HTML list tags properly, such as order list tag, unordered list tag, and list item tag. After that, I'll also teach you how to create different types of lists like these using CSS codes. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Here on the left, I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. And on the right, I opened up the HTML document with Google Chrome. First, let's create an ordered list. The opening ordered list tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, OL, and right angle bracket. And a closing ordered list tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, OL and right angle bracket. Now inside this ordered list tag, we are going to mark up all the list items using list item tag. So the opening list item tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, LI and right angle bracket. And a closing list item tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, LI, and right angle bracket. And for the list item content, I'll just put Apple as the first item. Apple. Now let's try to add more list items. For the second one, I'll put banana, so opening list item tag, banana, and closing list item tag. For the third one, I'll put cherry. So opening list item tag, cherry, and a closing list item tag. Now I'm going to save this and let's see how they look. Okay, as you can see, our ordered list items are now showing up and it has ordered numbers starting from one. That is how browsers render ordered list items. Now let's create an unordered list. The opening unordered list tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, UL and right angle bracket. And the closing unordered list tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, UL and right angle bracket. Now inside this unordered list tag, we are gonna mark up all the list items using list item tag. For the first one, I'll put Apple, so opening list item tag, Apple, and closing list item tag. For the second one, I'll put banana, so opening list item tag, banana, and closing list item tag. For the third one, I'll put cherry, so opening list item tag, cherry, and a closing list item tag. Okay, let's save this and see how they look. As you can see, all the unordered list items are now showing up with a black dot on the left. But the good news is we can customize the black dot using only one line of CSS code. So let's do that. First, I'll create a style tag inside the head tag. The opening style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, style, and right angle bracket. And the closing style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, style, and right angle bracket. I'll also add type attribute on the opening style tag like this, type, and its value is text, forward slash, and CSS. Now, let's write some CSS codes inside this style tag. First, I'll select the unordered list element. So it's going to be UL space. After that, I'll open up a curly brace. Inside here, I'll declare a style property called list style type colon. For its value, we have these options. First, let's try the circle semicolon. With the circle, it looks like this. Next, let's try the square. 
semicolon. For the square option, it looks like this. Next, let's try the Georgian. With Georgia, it looks like this. Next, let's try the traditional Chinese informal. Tread Chinese informal. With the traditional Chinese informal, it looks like this. Next, let's try the Kannada. With Kannada, it looks like this. Next, let's try to put our own custom string. In order to put custom string, first we need to open up a double quote or single quote. I'll just open up a double quote and inside there, I'll put a hash sign, semicolon, and it looks like this. Now, if you don't want to put anything before the list item, you can just put none, semicolon, and it looks like this. By the way, if you want to learn more about when and how to use HTML style tag, please make sure to check out my another lecture about HTML style tag. You can find the link in the description below. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.